We are the station that holds people in power accountable, and tonight we're looking into a report from a nonpartisan watchdog group which accuses several municipalities of violating open meetings laws. Now, the Buffalo Niagara Coalition for Open Government says some local councils and boards are simply not following the procedures when it comes to closed door negotiations. Two on your side, Sandy Spiewak breaks down that report for us tonight. You're supposed to let the public know what legal matter you are discussing. 76 out of 78 executive session motions, 97 percent done wrong. Coalition for Typically Open Government President says Paul Wolf is. says the vast majority of executive sessions were called improperly by local governments. That's according to a six-month review. The town of Lewiston, Cheektowaga, town of Tonawanda, town of Lockport, town of Hamburg, West Seneca, and Amherst were among those who called at least six. Executive sessions can be an important tool for governments to discuss legal or contract matters, but the coalition says the subject of the litigation or contract being discussed was not stated with specificity in most of these cases. And that, the they say, is shielding right the public from vital information. Doors. But the public has a right to know what you are discussing behind closed doors and that's not taking place according to our study. On the opposite end, the Erie County Legislature, Niagara Falls City Council and Buffalo Common Council were among those who did not call a single executive session during the review. Buffalo Common Council member Joseph Golombek says other councils in Western New York should be as transparent um, so as they are. I, I think that it's, it's very, very important that you only do the executive session when it's necessary. Um, but I think a lot of people, they're, they're probably just not trained properly. As for members of those boards that called a lot of executive sessions, we asked several of them about this report. They were unfamiliar with the report but said they would look into it. Danny Spiewak, Channel 2 News.